Hello everyone, welcome to the video lecture series on media skills. This series is produced under the grants provided by Department of Information and Public Relations, Government of Karnataka in association with Department of Journalism and Mass Communication, Karnataka State Akka Mahadevi Women's University, Vijayapura. Today we have with us Dr. Satya Prakash Yammar. He will be delivering a lecture on the topic Advertising and Media. Dr. Satya Prakash Yammar holds PhD degree for his doctoral thesis titled Socio-Cultural Influences of Transnational Television in Major Urban Centers of Karnataka. Started off as a journalist with short spans of experiences in print and web media, he moved on to teaching. He has been teaching at the Department of PG Studies in Journalism and Mass Communication, Kuvempu University, Shimoga, from past 15 years. He has published research papers in well-known journals like Media Asia, International Journal of South Asian Studies. He has also published books such as Madhyama Udyama, that is Media Business, and Dalita Viranariyara Sankhatana. His areas of interest include political economy of new media technologies, television studies, film studies, development communication, and cultural studies. Now, I invite Dr. Satyaprakash MR to deliver a lecture on advertising and media. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, today, we will try and talk about uh, advertising industry, the status of advertising industry in India, the size of the advertising industry, volume, the kind of business advertising generates uh, in the country. Let us try and talk about uh, advertising industry in, in this particular lecture. See, advertising industry is a very big business in India. Uh, because India is a developing e economy and it is an emerging economy, there are various sectors that is doing well in India. One of the emerging economies in the world, like along with China, India is uh, one of the emerging economies which is doing well in the world. Uh, advertising is the is uh, the backbone which uh, supports these uh, uh, sectors, uh, whether it's manufacturing sector or service sector or agriculture sector. Uh, products which are uh, generated by manufacturing sector and uh, service sector services offered by service sector is backed up by advertising. So advertising is a huge business. Uh, in fact, advertising industry is, uh, is part of uh, what is called as uh, media and entertainment industry. There's something called as media and entertainment industry, wherein you have businesses like uh, cinema, television, print media, that is uh, various newspaper in uh, uh, different languages, uh, English uh, regional languages, uh, magazines, uh, publication, and you have uh, television, television channels, uh, television again, television accounts for uh, sub-segments like uh, content generation, then uh, subscription, transmission, and technologies involved in uh, television, that is production houses. So television is again, one of the key industries, uh, key segments in uh, media and enter entertainment industry. And uh, you have uh, film, film industry, film industry again, film production, film distribution, and uh, film exhibition, three important uh, aspects, film production and distribution and exhibition. There are three, three very important uh, aspects of film, film making again, which is spread across the entire country, uh, which is a huge uh, market compared to other countries because uh, geographically speaking India is a large market like just like China or uh, in South Asia India is one of the major markets in in, uh, in this part of the world so you have a uh, feature film you have uh, television and you have uh, radio not in a big way comparatively like like, like if you compare uh, with uh, TV uh, radio is not a big business, that is FM radio, FM station is not a big business, but but still FM radio also has a presence in, uh, especially in metropolitan cities where where people uh, listen to FM radio. So you have uh, companies, big companies like Reliance, uh, Sun Network, uh, Deccan Chronicle, such companies, Times Group, they have entered into uh, radio business especially FM uh, radio business. So you have uh, radio, you have television industry, you have feature films, and you have print media. And you also have uh, advertising industry, which is also part of uh, this uh, 
media and entertainment industry which is which is fueling these industries all these industry or industries or our segments are interlinked with uh, advertising in fact advertising industry that is advertising agencies produce advertising so they serve the clients and produce advertising for tv for radio and for print and for out of home and they also support the these industries so advertising industry is a very big industry in india we have a very a big advertising agencies like uh, ogilvy and uh, mather you have we have uh, uh, so uh, sony mccann erickson so sachi and sachi so we have very big advertising industry i mean agencies uh, in the country based out of bombay based out of uh, bangalore based out of chennai based out of uh, ahmedabad there is mudra advertising agency so we have uh, d kana is another important advertising agency all these advertising agencies are serving big companies like unilever reliance airtel uh, that is bharti group bharti group and you have aditya birla company so all these uh, advertising agencies are serving big clients so these companies these, these big companies these uh, indian multinational companies and also multinational companies uh, from other country which are which are having presence in india like unilever is one of the biggest uh, you know uh, advertisers uh, in the country which uh, which deals in uh, fmcg products so advertising uh, agencies serve uh, these clients so advertising generates a lot of business uh, uh, in the sector it is a backbone to uh, various uh, segments whether it is industrial or segment or what what do you call as a manufacturing sector or uh, agriculture sector or uh, service sector for especially for service sector advertising is one of the ma major backbones in fact advertising comes under if you technically speaking advertising comes under service sector where you have media and entertainment industry which uh, according to price waterhouse coopers is one of the leading business uh, generators in the country leading contributors to in indian economy because service sector is uh, doing well in come in comparison uh, with the uh, manufacturing sector or or, uh, or agriculture sector it is the service sector which is doing well uh, sectors like i mean um, segments like it or biotechnology and uh, media and entertainment industry are uh, uh, doing well banking is doing well insurance is doing well so these are the sectors which uh, which are generating huge business and it is the advertising which is supporting these segments these uh, sub segments and these segments even for uh, msmes what do you call as uh, msmes for msmes also advertising supports you know big big way so advertising whether it is a small scale it is done whether it is done in a small scale or in a big scale like pan india or region specific it could be either pan india or it could be region specific or south indian or north indian or, uh, or uh, east indian or west indian or the central indian like that whether you have region specific uh, campaigns or whether you have a camp pan india campaign advertising uh, industry uh, or advertising agencies cater to all these uh, uh, geographical regions so in that sense the spread of advertising agencies is uh, is throughout so you have uh, the the presence of advertising throughout the country wherever you go you can see advertising out of home advertising you can see and on tv channels you see uh, advertising in, on uh, newspapers you see advertising on magazines you see advertising on social media is a new thing uh, uh, digital uh, digital media what do you call as digital media where you can uh, generate customized um, advertising where you can produce customized advertising so the presence of advertising is everywhere in the country in, in the entire market in the entire if you can consider entire india as a pan india market the advertise presence of advertising is everywhere so advertising is quite uh, huge in fact is uh, one of the leading uh, 
leading segments which are doing well uh, uh, in the in the economy right after automobiles right after what you call as petroleum products uh, retail products that is fmcg products and uh, petroleum products you have advertising industry or what you call as media and entertainment industry and advertising is part of that uh, industry which is which is doing very well in india the advertising industry has seen a phenomenal growth it has uh, it has uh, you know evolved from being a small scale what you call agencies which uh, which were basically uh, agencies were uh, they were only catering to offer spaces in the newspaper and uh, charge money for uh, commission money for uh, those spaces they would not uh, produce any advertising copies or they would not produce any television commercials or jingles so earlier advertising agencies were just they would they, they were they used to take uh, what do you call they used to sell spaces in newspapers from being such a kind of advertising agency now you have a very full fledged complete uh, holistic advertising uh, agencies which uh, which cater on all what do you call the in the in the uh, on all segments within the advertising agency like, that is like 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 that is like production of advertising copy and uh, production of television commercials production of jingles planning of the media campaign media buying media planning and services services like the home advertising and television commercial so advertising agency right from the scratch that is right from idea to writing to production and planning and also the entire in the entire marketing process even the marketing research is also done by some of the advertising agencies advertising agencies also serve in terms of carrying out uh, marketing research carrying out uh, product testing that is called before you actually uh, go in for campaign you test uh, you test the copy before you actually go in for the campaign related to uh, the, any product once you once you are done with the copy you test the copy that is that is called as copy testing okay so the copy test researches like copy testing eye tracking and also field research and also extension uh, research that is ma the, the marketing research uh, research like uh, you know which which are related to uh, social marketing Uh, such uh, services are also offered by advertising agencies so you have uh, uh, huge advertising agencies which covers all these uh, areas and you also have specific ad agencies which only focuses on print ad only only out of home advertising uh, um, advert advertising only and uh, you have advertising agencies which focus only on print advertising so you have advertising agencies which are media specific and you also have advertising agencies which cover all the areas so advertising in that sense advertising industry as uh, as grown phenomenally in india in 1993 it was uh, worth rupees 3000 crores and in 1994 and 95 it was worth uh, rupees 500 5000 crores and uh, in 2016 the worth of advertising industry was was around 51365 crore that is the kind of business that advertising generated that is the kind of revenue that advertising industry generated in india so what are the activities that advertising um, agency or advertising industry does which generate such a huge amount so the, usually the ad clients clients uh, approach advertising agencies for uh, for production of advertising uh, copies for production of tvcs that is if we can uh, sum it up uh, the planning of advertising campaign and also execution right from the planning to execution the clients will approach the advertising agencies and the advertising agencies will in turn offer these services to clients like uh, like maybe reliance uh, clients like uh, unilever so for example for uh, ogilvy and mather unilever is a client for mccann uh, erickson uh, aditya birla could be a client for dikana uh, amul could be a client so the companies the companies uh, approach advertising agencies 
and in turn advertising agencies offer services to these uh, companies what are these services services right from planning advertising campaign to execution it whether it could be single media campaign or it could be multimedia campaign single media campaign refers to uh, uh, one media campaign it could be print media or it could be television media or it could be radio or it could be uh, out of home a multimedia campaign refers to combination of all these things there are advertising agencies which focus only on out of home advertising which is quite huge and when you uh, talk about advertising industry within advertising industry television is one of the biggest revenue generators uh, in the advertising uh, uh, industry within the advertising if uh, if you can uh, consider advertising as a sector within the advertising sector television uh, which is a segment within the advertising sector television sector generates huge business in fact television is one of the biggest advertisers uh, you know uh, uh, advertising revenue generator uh, and then comes print media so both print and ad and television media are uh, more or less on par and you also have uh, out of home advertising uh, which which is uh, which is also quite huge because out of home advertising covers uh, not just uh, billboards and uh, hoardings which are put across in big cities or in on highways or on airports or on railway stations so you also have uh, transit advertising and advertising which is done uh, you know within um, uh, railway coaches or within uh, flight coaches so you have uh, advertising out of home advertising which which is uh, done on public places so out of home advertising is also quite uh, huge the market of out of home advertising is quite huge and uh, out of home advertising uh, generates a lot of revenue and then uh, the television also is a biggest uh, revenue generator and uh, print also when uh, in comparison radio is, you know suffers uh, or radio is comparatively uh, weak in terms of revenue generation so advertising in fact ranks as the fourth fifth among uh, the big industries in the world the first four are oil automobiles computers electronics and agriculture business and uh, along with advertising you also have uh, armaments you also have armaments which uh, accounts for uh, big business so if you can see the oil business is one of the leading businesses in the world and automobiles is again one of the leading businesses in the world computers uh, uh, is uh, computers and electronics is also big quite big uh, and uh, agriculture products also also huge and uh, along with that you have armaments that is arms and ammunition uh, companies which produce arms and ammunition uh, you know they also do huge business although they produce lesser in terms of number the the, the business that ge they generate is huge so after these uh, these sectors it is the advertising industry which accounts for such a huge business in fact it is in comparison on par with armaments uh, which ranks among uh, among all the sector which ranks among fifth which ranks at fifth place and advertising is also ranks at the fifth place so in india along with uh, you know oil business or automobile business computers and electronics which includes certain uh, smartphones computers laptops etc and agriculture products advertising accounts for huge business so if you uh, get into the specifics the per capita advertising expenditure in india is 7.2 dollars in comparison in singapore it is 72 uh dollars the per capita uh, expenditure on advertising um so it is clear so there is a huge uh, you know huge gap in terms of uh, advertising expenditure in india in comparison with other countries it is the, the expenditure on advertising is very less that means there is still huge scope for uh, the growth of advertising industry in india 
See, if you can see, only seven. India is spending uh, the per capita investment on advertising is only seven point two company to two seven point two dollars. What does it mean? It means, for example, a company like Pepsi, so the the amount of uh, the revenue that it generates, it puts back a lot of money back on advertising. Say, for example, if Pepsi, okay, makes a profit of hundred rupees. It puts puts back seventy two rupees in Singapore. In in India, it puts put back seven point two rupees in India. So the comparison is uh, clear. The spend the the per capita expenditure on advertising in India is lesser in comparison with other countries like like Singapore. And if you express that uh, figure in terms of uh, GDP, that percentage in, ter in terms of GDP, the ad expenditure in India is 0.36. In comparison, the ad expenditure uh, is 1.3 in uh, United States and uh, 1.45 uh, in Switzerland and 1.09 in UK. In 2018, it was around 0.3. For five in India, that means there was a slight uh, growth in India in, in terms of uh, the advertising expenditure. If you calculate that advertising expenditure in terms of GDP, that means the out of uh, the, the the entire GDP, this is the 0.45 percent of uh, GDP is spent on advertising. And so, what does it indicate? This expenditure incurred on ag advertising in India is relatively lesser but even then it is quite a huge business it is doing doing well and it is it is uh, it is a huge business in india because because of the market size in india you have a very huge market so india is called as a subcontinent uh, you know as all of you know india is called as a subcontinent it is a huge market geographically speaking it has a huge area next only to uh, china in india uh, uh, Asian continent is in South Asia. India is a big, big uh, uh, market in terms of geographical area. India is has got a huge geographical area. In fact, in the entire world, China, India, and Russia. These are the three countries, you know, and also maybe also Brazil. Uh, these are the countries which has a huge geographical area in terms of market. Uh, in terms of geographical area, it has a it is it is quite huge and also in terms of population india has got huge population compared to it is comparable to china and uh, in terms of uh, pop people who can afford to buy so in a lot of people who are afford to buy and who are not yet been uh, reached in india so the market indian market is is uh, quite uh, huge and uh, indian market is it is a lot of uh, areas which are uh, still uh, left untouched, which is which are, which are still untapped. So that's why we the companies are talking about uh, uh, reaching out to rural areas, what is called as uh, rural marketing or uh, social marketing. Companies are talking about these uh, uh, new approaches. In fact, companies are getting into uh, the rural areas, rural market in order to not only create awareness on certain uh, uh, practices but also to sell the products ultimately uh, these uh, rural marketing is done or extension work is done uh, carried out by these advertising agencies in order to reach out to uh, the the rural uh, market uh, the initial uh, activity in that particular process is to is to create awareness. For example, we take the example of uh, uh, use of uh, toothpaste, for example. So first, you the companies first you talk about uh, oral hygiene. You get into the rural market. Companies first initiate marketing activities like uh, creating campaigns, door-to-door uh, -door campaign, or uh, creating or conducting a program, mohalla program, or programs like stage programs, or uh, activities such activities. Uh, about where, wherein uh, you you create uh, you know campaigns uh, awareness programs on oral hygiene and later on you you introduce the uh, product which is the product is toothpaste you ultimately you want to sell the uh, toothpaste but uh, the first thing that you do is you get into the rural market and you create awareness about this uh, the the importance of 
keeping the you know your uh, your uh, uh, oral uh, <laughs> oral health or oral hygiene uh, very clean so you create awareness on that initially and later you introduce the uh, introduce the product so that is uh, that is one of the approaches that is adopted by companies so companies not just uh, not just advertise they also do such activities and it is usually the advertising agencies which carry out even the extension uh, activities are carried out by advertising uh, agencies activities like rural marketing activity activities like social marketing are also carried out by advertising agency in order to ultimately in order to sell the product in favor of in order to you know sell the products uh, belonging to certain companies uh, for uh, you know advertising agencies you have clients and advertising agencies are selling the products of their clients through various modes it is it could be through multimedia that is it could be through tv commercials or it could be through radio jingles or it could be through out of home advertising or it could be through advertising copy or or it could be through sales promotion that is uh, that is again another plan which is a uh, you know, part of uh, uh, media strategy that uh, advertising agencies adopt you wherein you carry out sales promotional activities in uh, showrooms in uh, small uh, kirana shops and in small stores general stores etc you do sales promotion activities also do door to door uh, promotional activities door to door marketing uh, activities along with that you also get into rural market wherein you create awareness at the same time you also introduce the, your product uh, later first you get into the market you talk about the uh, the importance of uh, the activities uh, or awareness uh, which is related to your product and later your product is introduced in that sense so rural marketing is becoming okay one of the key areas for uh, advertising agencies so clients are getting into um, uh, you know this kind of approach they are preferring this kind of approaches along with uh, usage of the traditional method that is uh, multimedia campaign so you have uh, Uh, advertising uh, you know uh, agencies which are carrying out such activities so in that sense uh, you they are trying in trying to uh, exploit uh, the rural market where there is uh, still a lot of potential where there are still people who can offer to buy uh, your products albeit in a very uh, a small way they may not have a huge money to spend Uh, but they do have certain money in their pockets which they are willing to spend on certain products so so your companies are coming out with uh, uh solutions uh, for uh, you know the uh, products which are designed for these rural markets so for say for example if you take the example of uh, horlicks or uh, boost so these are the uh, the powders are the, the what you call energy uh, uh, powders which are used along with the milk so if we take the example of horlicks see earlier only horlicks used to come only in 250 g uh, you know container or maybe in half uh, kg container but now you have uh, horlicks which are coming in uh, sachets 5 5 rupees sachet which are designed for specially designed for uh people who can uh, who can uh, afford uh, you know a lesser amount but they are willing to pay that particular amount that means so people do have a certain money they don't have huge money but they do have uh, money to spend although it is a small amount even that amount can be that what you call that uh, market can be tapped so they do have certain um, potential that potential is smaller but you have to cater to those uh, people also you, you have to serve those people also and it is also commercially viable wherein it is a huge market so if you see in the marketing uh, hierarchy usually in the marketing segmentation usually it is the uh, people uh, who are uh, you know at the bottom uh, who have less income they are more, they, the number of uh, people who are who have less income are more but they are willing to pay are uh, willing to buy products but they have very lesser amount so as a company you need to 
uh, create products or you need to design products which uh, caters to uh, these people usually it is these people who buy in uh, you know buy uh, in huge number because there are there are a uh, lot of people they are huge in number the number of people uh, in in that particular segment that is uh, lower middle class segment middle class and lower middle class segment there are a lot of people who can, who can buy your product but they cannot afford huge money you, on in when it comes to upper upper uh, class so it is a premium market where uh, the volume is very business volume is very less but when it comes to lower middle class the business volume is more that means uh, more and more people buy your product but uh, the kind of amount uh, they they can uh, afford to spend is lesser but uh, when it comes to premium market uh, the, all the people are ready to spend a lot of money the number of people are very less so in that sense uh, the uh, it is uh, the lower middle class uh, segment which is which is more important so in india the big companies are now eyeing these lower middle class uh, most of the fmcg uh, products companies which are dealing with fmcg products they are coming out with uh, size or volume volume in the sense uh, the the content size of uh, the container or uh, the the quantity uh, of the product in less quantity they are trying to come out with less quantity and lesser price affordable price in other words affordable price for that particular segment that's why you have uh, you know uh, boost or horlick which is coming in uh, sachet you have uh, say shampoos like uh, garnier or uh, dove which you get it for uh, 2 rupees or get it for 3 rupees now earlier only you had to, if you want to wanted to buy a garnier you had to buy a big container maybe 250 ml container but now you can go to any uh, general store any shop next door uh, next to your house, house household you can just uh, buy any sachet which is uh, 3 rupees or which is 2 rupees you can buy sh sh shampoo sachets of uh, you know garnier or dove any other company for lesser uh, you know price which is affordable also even the lower middle class or uh, even very poor class they can also afford to uh, you know have access to these products like uh, like Harlix for example you have Harlix, you get Harlix for 5 rupees, you get Boost for 5 rupees. That means uh, the products which were earlier only accessible to upper middle class, uh, now uh, middle class and upper middle class, uh, now it is uh, offered, it is available for even for the lower middle class, even for the poor people, because that is also a huge market. Because there are a lot of people in India with, who, 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 are, uh, who are very what do you call who, are, uh, who have very less income so those people can also uh, have access to these products they are or they do have certain ability to buy the product but their income level is low but uh, you know the kind of amount they they're willing to spend is also low but they do have the willingness to buy your products buy the products of the company that's why that is also another huge market so companies wants to get into that particular market wants to tap that particular market so that in that sense the market is still you know uh, it is uh, there's still scope for expansion of uh, market and uh, for the companies especially fmcg companies even for uh, automobile companies like uh, for two wheelers uh, there's still huge uh, scope for uh, these markets insurance maybe so when it comes to fmcg definitely there is still huge scope for market expansion still still scope for uh, getting into the rural interiors where uh, some of the people who have still not uh, have uh, had the you know access to these products so companies can get into these market and it is through advertising advertising is one of the key what you call facilitators or key tools which can uh, which can influence uh, or which can fuel this particular activity wherein you you the advertising agency also carry out these uh, uh, extension activities or what you call as uh, um, rural marketing activities uh, but also through other multimedia campaigns advertising can also tell the the potential consumers that uh, you know products are available for what you call income group also for us 
for a particular income group also that is what is you, what you call as target marketing so through advertising campaign this targeted marketing can be done and through rural marketing or extension marketing they can be reached out so a combination of all these things put together companies can have a you know huge uh, benefit in that sense advertising agencies can play a big role so the 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 there is still huge scope for uh, the market expansion when it comes to rural areas uh, rural interior areas of uh, of the country in 2010 the advertising industry in india it accounted for a very impressive economic conditions uh, and showed a very healthy growth in fact it witnessed around 14.3% growth and stood at 247.5 billion uh, rupees in the country in fact it was propelled up by television industry growth in television industry and when you see if you can observe the television industry and print media both uh, you know television and print okay they they started evolving in a big way post 2000 and especially during 2010 onwards you have uh, the expansion of uh, you know uh television industry wherein you have more number of uh, tv channels uh, started coming up and uh, more number of uh, genre uh, specific uh, channels for example only news channels or huge so many news channels are there now so all these news channels are uh, started evolving started emerging after 2010 uh and uh, you have uh, tv channels uh, genre channel specific tv channels like uh, only cartoon channels or new cinema channels music channels uh, news channels general entertainment channels so television industry started growing big and television industry have, which has uh, various segments like uh, production that is content generation and uh, distribution that is uh, uh the network of network of distribution it, it could be dtch or it could be satellite tv or satellite enabled uh, cable tv so you have a huge market and you have what is called as a conditional access system because of cas conditional access system now uh, because of uh, set up boxes almost all the channels have become pay channels now so if you want to have access to a particular channel now you have to pay for that particular channel so you have uh, companies which are uh, coming out with these packages like tata sky or airtel or uh, reliance big all of them have uh, their own uh, uh, dtch uh, you know services so they they have their own plans so if you want to ac- uh, have access to a particular channel you also have uh, hd channels if you want to have access to any channel like espn or uh, star cricket or uh, or uh, z tv or uh, colors canada or whatever if you want to have access to these channels you have to pay for each and every channel so it is uh, the subscription uh, you know the price as has increased in a big way earlier see if you had cable connection maybe you used to pay maybe 100 rupees or 150 rupees per month now if you want to have and for that particular amount you used to get uh, almost all the channels for free now if you want to have access if you want to have access of maybe say 50 channels you may have to pay around 500 rupees along with the what you call as uh, free channels you may have to pay around uh, 350 rupees or maybe 500 rupees around that particular amount and because almost all the channels are now pay channel that means subscription subscription price this subscription uh, revenue as uh, you know it, it is it has increased in a big way especially after uh, introduction of uh, cs which is mandatory introduction of what you call as uh, conditional access system is mandatory throughout the country now in the first phase it was only mandatory for metropolitan cities now for throughout the country it is uh, mandatory so television industry one of the uh, you know key segments in tv industry which is uh, subscription so uh, through subscription tv channels are uh, making money or what you call it is generating revenue production for content generation companies which are involved in content generation business like balaji telefilms or uh, such uh, production houses they are also generating revenue they are also offering employment so it is also generating employment and it is also offer generating revenue and uh, tv is also accounting for a you know, lot of advertising revenue because most of the companies or clients prefer 
TV channels over, uh, uh, you know, when it comes to radio. In comparison with the radio, most of the channels prefer TV, most of the clients prefer TV channels for um, for advertising. So TV channels are what you call as TV is also generating a lot of uh, advertising uh, revenue. And print is another important uh, media which uh, which has evolved uh, in a big way. See the, the newspapers like Dainik Jagran or Dainik Baskar or Times of India has grown, uh, you know, in a in a big way. The, the circulations have increased. So print media is another important area, and very importantly. Digital media is is one of the emerging or leading uh, medias, which is which is generating a lot of advertising revenues these days. And uh, most of the clients are now focusing on digital media in a big way. In fact, O and M was uh, you know was one of the first advertising agencies which uh, started focusing on uh, digital media. Piyush Pandey was a well-known advertising guru. He, in fact, uh, talked about digital media becoming bigger way back in uh, 2010. Now it has become a, a reality. Digital media has, uh, you know, emerged. It has emerged as one of the uh, big, uh, you know, advertising revenue generator. So, in so you have uh, clients, uh, you know, which are eyeing this particular market because uh, there are a huge number of. Uh, Young uh, audiences are uh, readily available. Platforms like Facebook, on Google, I mean YouTube, on Instagram and Twitter. So companies are getting into uh, these uh, platforms, social media platforms, in a big way. So you have advertising agencies which are designing customized ad advertising for this particular, you know, social media platform for Twitter handle, for example, for Facebook. So you have a company's face uh, Facebook page. Okay, you have a Twitter handle of the company. So companies are, uh, you know, they've entered into uh, social media in a big way. So digital, uh, you know, uh, media is another big, uh, you know, uh, revenue generators, uh, which, which are creating a lot of revenue in the advertising industry. So you have uh, print media, you have electronic media that is uh, TV, and you also have digital media, which is contributing to the advertising industry. So as you can see, advertising industry, so you have, uh, when it comes to TV, television uh, industry, you have uh, broadcasters also, you have uh, TV, you know, channel producers, uh, you have uh, production houses, distributors, so all these people are involved in, uh, you know, producing a particular program. So all these sectors are involved in producing pro programs for TV. So all these segments are, seg all these segments are generating a lot of revenue for TV. And in turn, TV is also, you know, dependent, uh, dependent on advertising that is, uh, that is given by clients. So as you can see, advertising, you know, a industry in India is uh, uh, not a negligible uh, industry in fact it it uh, you know it uh, it is on par with uh, one of the key segments which are doing well in the country and uh, in india if you see service sector is doing well in fact modern economies are called as a service economy or knowledge based economy or it is also called as information society where a lot of activities economic activities are basically based on uh, information in fact information becomes a commodity so in that sense a feature film for example is a commodity which is produced and sold as a product so you have a tv show which is which is produced and sold as a product so you have uh, uh, you know information as a product so we are living in a in a society where information has become a commodity so it is the advertising is one of the key what you call uh, key uh, uh, sectors or key segments which are which, which is playing a huge role in uh, in the entire process in running this uh, information based economy so advertising is is quite uh, huge and in fact is one of the leading segments which are doing well in India. So along with the oil, uh, along with the computers and electronics, along with uh, automobiles, along with agricultural products, 
and along with armaments and along with FMCG products, it is the advertising industry which is uh, doing quite well. So advertising uh, industry is quite big. Thank you.